hello everyone, it's Tuesday Tips Live here at Digital DJ Tips with me, Phil. Happy 2021! It's going to be a better year than 2020. This is the show every week that we do on a Tuesday across the Digital DJ Tips network. We're on YouTube, we're on the Digital DJ Tips Facebook page and the Global DJ Network Facebook, Facebook group. We're on our Twitch channel, Hi Twitch family, and we're also on Mixcloud Live. This is our free to air show where we help you become a better DJ or a better DJ producer. And today there's so much I've got to cram in. I just hope I remember it all. So to start with, we've got the new Rain One Serato motorized DJ controller. Look at these moving platters to talk to you about today. But that's not all. We've got to announce the winners of our global DJ census prize draw. So for those of you that don't know about that every year, we run a prize draw, the whole industry gets involved. The idea is that you guys and girls tell us what's been going on in your DJing life over the last year. And 35,000 of you have done just that over the last month. And we've got a $35,000 prize draw as well. So I'm gonna announce all the main prize winners a little bit later on in today's show. And we've got an awesome trial for you of our top coaching program. You know, a lot of people are locked down again now and we've got a $1 trial for a month. So if you're in lockdown, if you're bored and you want to learn something and do something for your DJing, look, for a dollar we can give you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of our training to try for a whole month. So I've got all that to tell you about. Like I say, I hope I don't forget. Uh, if you don't know what the hell you're watching, by the way, and you've stumbled over this, we're Digital DJ Tips. We're the people behind the book you might have seen because it's a bestseller on Amazon on how to DJ, on Kindle and in bookstores and audiobook and all that kind of stuff, Rock the Dance Floor. We're also behind the Digital DJ Tips website, which uh, you may well have stumbled over because a quarter of a million people a month do just that. And of course, you might have seen us on videos on YouTube and Facebook and uh, Instagram and so on. So that's us, Digital DJ Tips, the world's leading DJ school. And we do this every week on a Tuesday. We also have an open Q&A on a Thursday. So come back at this time on Thursday if you just want to talk DJ, you just want to ask questions and we stay there for an hour and try and help you uh, with all your DJ queries and stuff every Thursday. Uh, and every Sunday we have mix shows. This Sunday it was me doing my balcony beats at 6 p at 4 p.m. No, I've got to get this right, 4.30 p.m. London, uh, 11.30 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern is when I do them on a Sunday and quite often they're at, uh, a little bit later than that, quite often they're at 5 p.m. London, uh, midday Eastern uh, on a Sunday. So you can catch us chatting, DJing, teaching you and going live with music every week in all those slots. So there's your intro. As ever, if you enjoy this stuff, if you find this useful, please do subscribe to the channel, but also share these videos because sharing them is what allows us to do this every week and helps us to spread the good word. Okay, so let's get going with what you have been waiting for, the first thing you've been waiting for, which is a live Q&A on this, the new Rain One motorized DJ controller from Rain. Now we've got an awful lot of stuff already published on this controller. So if you head over to the Digital DJ Tips website straight after this broadcast, you will see that at the top of the website, it's all Rain at the moment. We've got a full review of the controller where we go into a lot of detail over every single part of this. We've had a few weeks with this, so we've had time to really get under the skin of it. So there's a full review of the controller there. There's also the full news piece about the controller, so you can understand uh, you know, how this fits into the world out there of DJ controllers. We tell you about the competition, about what's good and what's bad, bad about this. There was also a review video that we've made uh, where you uh, can find out more about the Control it in a review video format if that's what you prefer. And uh, what you're seeing on the screen now is a full uh, scratch demo that Steve has done. Uh, Steve are scratching for controller DJ's tutor. So all this stuff is waiting for you over on Digital DJ Tips. So do go and look at that afterwards. But now is your chance to ask questions about this. And that's what I'm here for now to help you uh, understand this new controller uh, and to, to, get you, to get to grips with it. Uh, and at the end of this, after this, we're gonna be announcing those census winners. So if you are wondering whether you've won one of the prizes in our Digital DJ census prize draw, I'll be doing that in about half an hour's time. But first, let Let's talk the rain one. Uh, and but first, I just want to say hello to because it's like, touching so many people tune into this every week. We're so glad to be able to do this for you. So just hello to a few of our reg regulars: Avinav, Mixmaster G, uh, Martin, GM, Herb, and Warfare. Uh, Ian says good luck everyone for the census. Hi to Sapan in Nepal, DJ Stick, uh, to Os 
42. Uh, so Dave White says, happy days. First time making it live. And I've even got here with time to spare. Well done, Dave. Uh, DJ99, uh, one of our best students there, DJ99. I'm so glad you're here with us today. Uh, to Janos and Eric and Michael uh, and Seda and Pranes, who says, finally, the awaited rain one. Is it going to be a hit or a flop? Let's hear it from the man himself. I think I can tell you already it's going to be a hit. The word love is what we're hearing a lot about this controller. Uh, hi to Jorge and to Peter and to Keith. DJ Mustang, who says, I've just watch the full review of the rain one so great oh well done you really are keen um, so yeah all our regulars uh, it's always so great to have so many of you on here and what's going to happen is you're all going to start talking among yourselves in those comments uh, and i'm not going to need to uh, join in which is what this is all about best community in the world i would say hi graham uh, who says obviously i didn't win but hey ho well you can't win everything but it's better odds than the lottery our prize draw that's for certain uh, so anyway the big list of winners is going to be announced in just about 25 minutes half an hour from now right let's talk about the rain one then so the rain one is a dj controller from rain which has got motorized platters so these platters will actually go around and there's a, there's a motor underneath them that spins around there you can take the platter off and it's like a real technics turntable see that and that means that if you're used to Technics turntables, these are going to feel, apart from the fact that they're seven inch instead of 12 inch, these are going to feel pretty much the same as what you are used to, which is really compelling. There you go, that's uh, all back together now, really simple to do. So you get this split mat here. You see this is stopping the music even though the platter is continuing underneath. And look, the whole turntable can go backwards. If you stop the turntable and set the stop time, it just acts like a Technics. This is the big selling point about this because otherwise it's a very, very nice but pretty standard controller. You've got your Serato pads down here. You've got a, a mixer in the middle. It's got some scratch functions because you've got your scratch paddles here. Uh, nice implementation of Serato's effects. Uh, but otherwise, You've got a pro level because it's got pro inputs, two USBs, uh, it's got dual outputs, booth and master outputs, two microphone channels in the front. It is a pro device, but basically what you've got here is a shrunk version of the uh, what I've got in front of me, the Rain 70 mixer and the Rain 12 Dex shrunk down and fit it into a DJ controller, which is easy to carry around. It's a lot smaller than even the, the Newmark NS7, which was a lovely uh, range of controllers, the NS7. They got up to the NS7 III actually, but very, very big and heavy. You need a trolley to move them about. You can just about carry this around. It's about 10 kilos, uh, which is about, I guess, what's 10 kilos, 23 pounds? I'm not very up with the Imperial measures. Uh, so it's, you know, still quite heavy, quite bulky, but it's, a lot smaller than either carrying around two Rain 12s and a Rain 70 or an NS7 III, the other motorized controller that's out there. So that's the controller we're talking about now. And I'm here to answer your questions because as I said, the full review, uh, write-up and video and demo video are all out there for you to look at. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna scan through what you're talking about here and I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can. So the first one, did you need to install separate drivers? No, it just plugs in and goes on Mac. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's the same on Windows. They do have a calibration tool for the crossfader because for the first time, Serato's crossfader has got an adjustment for, the, um, for how quickly it cuts in and you can, and uh, you can download a little utility that just calibrates that. Uh, but apart from that, it is, uh, I, I believe there's no need for anything else to be downloaded and installed. Uh, so I hope that is helpful for you. Um, Stuart's just looking forward to the discussion. Hello, Stuart. It's always, always lovely to see you here on the conversation. Uh, lots of you just waiting for the draw. Dave's waiting for the draw as well. Um, so uh, the 35,000 people, says Keith, that's a lot for me to beat. Well, as I keep saying, it's, uh, it's better odds than the lottery. Uh, Lou says, I missed your last stream, so happy new year to you and the family. The rain controller looks awesome. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's about 10 kilos. So it's heavy, but not that heavy. You know, rain are calling it portable. Um, DJ B2K says $35,000 is American dollar. Yes, I do apologize for other people whose currencies are in dollars. Uh, we're talking about American dollars here. Hello, Tiffany. Uh, hello, Mark. Uh, so questions about this rain controller. I'm just scrolling through all of you wanting to uh, 
wanting to win the uh, wanting to win the uh, the prizes. Watch up, what's up, Sensei? Ah, oh, I just bought an XZ. What to do? What to do? There's a big difference between the the XZ and this. You know, this is a motorized controller. This is really if you want motorized platters, then this is for you. But if you don't want motorized platters, thank. thank you know, they, frankly, these are not for you because they're a different thing to DJ on. You know, most DJs don't need motorized platters nowadays. It really is designed for scratching. So just bear that in mind. It's a, it's a, a lovely, lovely controller, but it is specialized. It is specialized. It is basically for scratch DJs. How does this compare to the NS7 platform? It's smaller and lighter. Apart from that, um, it's pretty similar to use, in the, uh, to use um, uh, as the NS7. Uh, great work in getting your review up, says DJ99. We have worked very hard on the review, as my uh, wife will testify, uh, the stress levels in the house <laughs> over the last two days with me storming around saying, uh, I've got no time left. Uh, so Craig says, Phil, I just watched the latest student lab episode. I really enjoyed that. Of course, I enjoy all the awesome stuff Digital DJ Tips puts, puts, puts out. Fingers crossed I can catch you for Balcony Beats next weekend. It's actually Steve next weekend, Craig. But thank you very much for the kind words there. Hello, Michael. Um, so uh, where does the rain controller fit into the market? It fits into the market as a controller which is for people who want moving platters. I think this is the key thing. If you don't want moving platters, you're probably better off with something like the DDJ1000 SRT from Pioneer because it's got hardware effects, it's got four channels and it's a bit cheaper and it's very, very good for Serato. But if you do want moving platters, there's really only two choices. There's this, well, apart from this, uh, there are the, uh, the Rain 12s and the Rain 70, which is extremely expensive and extremely heavy, or the, the NS7 III, or indeed the Tractor Control S4 Mark III, which I have here, which has got motorized platters, but they're not the same. They're tiny compared to the ones on the NS, oh, sorry, on the uh, Rain 1, uh, and they are, they haven't got slip mats, so they feel different to DJ with. It's a great controller, by the way, the Tractor Control S4 Mark III, but it's not the same. So really, this thing is out there on its own. Uh, the competition is pretty limited at the moment for this. Uh, so in answer to the, uh, the question that you asked there, where does it fit into the market? Well, for $1,500, it fits into the market as a pro controller for people who want moving platters. You know, that's the best way of putting it, I think. Uh, how much? I've just answered that for you. $1,500. I think it's £1,300 and 1500 euros as well. Something like that. It's in the written review anyway. Does it work with record box? Says DJ uh, Vibe78. Uh, no, this is a Serato controller. It comes with Serato, but if you want to use Pitch Play, uh, you're going to need Serato Pitch and Time. So Pitch Play is the, the feature on this where you can... Uh, Get into pitch play here, and it lets you play any cue point like this. Ah, oh, I'm not in. Uh, I'm not in uh, the right function. Here we go. You see here this. I'm playing from cue point number two there, but it's changing the pitch as I do it. It's something that you see Scratch DJs using quite a lot nowadays. They're finding a lot of creative uses for pitch play, but you need to get Serato's Pitch and Time plugin. It's expansion pack, which doesn't come with the unit. So while the unit comes with Serato Pro Unlocked, just a little bit of extra expense if you want to use that function. Uh, but it works with Serato and uh, out of the box. Also, if you want to use DBS, because it's also got a mixer on the back inputs on the back so you can plug in and use it as a standalone mixer or a DVS mixer. Again, you're going to need to pay extra to get that to work with Serato. Uh, the Ray 1 versus the NS7 III, I think we've already answered that, Juan. Um, so, uh, Sideshow more switch to Twitch. Uh, so, because you live there now, yeah, I think we need to put a bit more love into Twitch. A lot of people are over there. Uh, can you disable the crossfader? That is a great question. And from memory, I think you can but I can't remember where. Maybe it's in the Serato settings somewhere. Should we go and have a look? I've just got a feeling that you can disable the crossfader, but I've got to be honest, I've got no idea where. You certainly can't do it on the hardware. The hardware is, uh, is not where you do it. Let's just have a little look in here. Uh, crossfader, there we go, crossfader disable. There's a little crossfader disable uh, thing in the Serato settings, and now the crossfader won't work. So yes, you can disable the crossfader. 
I love these chats because we get to we get to figure things out together. Uh, so um, I turned that on again. Then did you notice I would have been punching someone or something, thinking why doesn't the bloody crossfader work at some point in the future? Otherwise, uh, hello Cliff over there in Detroit. Uh, so I never win anything, says Riaz. Well, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Um, Someone on Facebook catching this for the first time ever, so that's good. I want to know the length, size and width. It's all in the written review. So head over to the uh, written review on our, uh, on our um, website here uh, and they're written down here somewhere. In fact, I can read them out for you there because I'm nice. It is. I'll give it to you in millimetres, 674 by 345 by 124.3. Look at the service you get here, folks. <laughs> I'll even tell you the to the nearest millimetre, the length, the height and the width of this thing. If you've just joined us, we're talking about the Rain One here on Tuesday Tips Live. We also have the prize draw results coming out of the DJ Census prize draw. Uh, in a few minutes time, we'll be announcing who has won that prize. $35,000, the main prizes in the $35,000 draw, including the full Pioneer DJ CDJ3000 and Nexus 2 uh, DJM900 setup. So that's very, very exciting. Uh, and um, we're also going to give you a very special offer on our Digital DJ Lab. $1 for a whole month of Digital DJ Lab, our highest level training program. Uh, where you can access over $3,000 worth of training for just a dollar for a month. I'll be telling you about that later on. So if you're in lockdown right now thinking, ah, what am I going to do with my time? Well, maybe that will help you. Uh, and as I said earlier, if you are enjoying this, if this is useful for you, please subscribe, but also share this. Hit share on whatever channel you're on uh, to help us get the word far and wide about this. Right, let's have a few more minutes talking about the D, about the uh, RAIN 1. Uh, your, your questions and your um, comments about this. Let's read a few more of those out. Let's hopefully get a few more of those answered for you. Um, Jonas just says, it's always great with you, Phil, and the DDJT crew. Uh, so I'm really pleased uh, that you're enjoying that, Jonas. I mean, I've got to say, I look forward to this every week because there's so many regulars here and that's what it's all about. Uh, speaking of regulars, hello, Alvin, and a happy new year to you too. Um, you have the real review, says Banji. So many fakes on YouTube. Yeah, a few people like to jump the gun with a box in their hands, don't they? I mean, you can understand it. Fair play. Uh, so is, is it only geared towards turntablists, scratchers and bat battlers? No, but I'd say it's geared towards turntable DJs. So if you learned on vinyl, but you're a mixing DJ, then you're going to love this. But if you don't really care for, you've never used turntables, you're not bothered about motorised platters, you're paying for motors you don't need. And, you know, the technology doesn't need those platters to spin around. There's nothing in DJ gear nowadays that says it has to spin around to work. There just isn't. So, you know, you don't need this spinning stuff. In fact, you can turn the motor off. See, that's still, that's still working. Uh, the motor's turned off. It just doesn't have to be turned on. That's not something you need. It's just there to give that pull and that inertia and that feel that the DJs love so much. But that vinyl DJs love so much as well. You know, I find those a lot of fun to use because I was brought up on vinyl. But honestly, I wouldn't DJ on that out of preference because I like the immediacy. When I press on, it starts straight away. You see, with this, when you press on, it takes its time to speed up. So on this deck here, um, let's go back to my... There's my cube pod at the beginning of the track. So if I press start now, there's a little bit of a pause while that gets up to speed. Now you can, back to the beginning there, you can hardly hear that pause to be honest, but it takes a little while while the platter takes its time to start playing. Now on a normal platter or when the motor's off, that starts straight away. So that might be something that quite annoys DJs who are not used to it. So I'd say definitely it's for people who like turntables, but not necessarily scratch DJs. Um, so Keith says, hey Phil, those mixer sessions you've been having, is that your house uh, or your penthouse? Uh, it's definitely my house, it's where we live. Uh, the, the, the Balcony Beats sessions that I've been having uh, on a Sunday. They're on a Sunday at uh, 4.30 p.m. or 5 p.m. Uh, London. Uh, which is 11.30 a.m. or 12 uh, midday Eastern. Uh, this week it's actually Steve Canueto, and the week after that it's Ben uh, live from his shed. Oh no, it's me again, and then Ben live from his shed the week after. Basically every Sunday afternoon in Europe or every Sunday morning in America, you can catch the Digital DJ Tips Tutors DJing uh, on YouTube, on Mixcloud, and on 
um, Twitch and uh, we love it. So yes, we do do it from my house. Well, we're locked down. We're full lockdown here in Gibraltar at the moment. Not allowed to do anything apart from get out and walk the dog and shop for food. So uh, so yeah, th th they started in lockdown. That's why we did them. Uh, so yes, it is from my house. Right, how big are the platters? Seven inches, Harvey. They're seven inch platters. Um, it would be good if you could play actual seven inches on it too. Well, you can't, but actually that's a good point. It lets me show you this. So this is how you move, like there's no needle, right? It might sound silly, but you can't put a needle on to decide where you are in the track. So how do you decide where you are in the track? You do it with this touch strip here. So by moving along the touch strip, I actually move through the record. So I'll go onto the deck here. So you can see on the waveforms now, I'm still touching that touch strip here. I'm going like this on the touch strip. And you can see on the waveforms, I'm jumping through the track. So that's how you scroll through the track on the unit uh, in order to, to move to the part that you want to DJ on in lieu of having a tone arm. Uh, but no, you can't. It would be good, wouldn't it, Sideshow more? But no, you can't. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. You can't have uh, real seven inches playing on there. <coughs> excuse me. Just breathe in a bit weird then. Right, I'm going to just do a handful more of these because we've got to get on to what's next, which is announcing the winners of the prize draw. And that is something that I know a lot of you are looking forward to. Uh, look at Phil pretending not to be old and poo-pooing the imperial measurements. Uh, I was taught millimetres at school, so I'm not that old. Uh, in normal circumstances, would Rain have waited till Nam to announce this? Probably they'd announce it around now anyway. They've been doing that recently. Uh, expect a lot of gear being announced now. Even though the Nam show isn't on, there'll be a lot of gear announced uh, soon. Hello, Patrick. Good to see you too, my friend. Uh, can you still use Serato video? Yes. Are the faders MIDI? Yes, they are. Um, why is it only Serato? I use Tractor. Um, I know it's MIDI and I can assign the buttons, but who wants to do that? Well, look, most controllers nowadays are made for one platform or another. Um, any new news on DJ software for premium Chromebooks? Well, you can run Android software on Chromebooks. Uh, so you can have a look in the Android store, get Algorithms DJ, for instance. Uh, anyway, we're going off, to off topic here, people. If you want to come back and ask any other kinds of questions, by the way, come this time on, a th on Thursday for Thursday Q&A Live. Uh, Rain got this controller bang on, says DJ Long G. Uh, I love it. Um, so... Um, Audio OSC, no, it doesn't work with other software like the Rain 12s. It has to work with Serato. Um, and thank you for confirming that 10 kilograms is 22 pounds. I wasn't far off, was I? Was I? Um, so uh, let's have a little look at, um, I'm just scrolling now to find just one or two things that are a little bit different to what we haven't answered so far. Hi, Dr. Karen, by the way. It's uh, lovely to see you. I hope you're well. Uh, hi, Alvin. Uh, so let's just get one or two more of these. You can tell we're live because I'm literally scrolling through what people are saying. Um, how is the sensitivity to pushing it forward in the mix from the spindle or 45 adapter? Is it adjustable like the Rain 12? So the torque is adjustable. You have a torque control on the back to make it like heavy torque or even heavier. So if that's what you mean, then yeah, it is. Uh, George enjoyed my Balcony Beats live session. Thank you for that, George. Uh, one or two more then. Um, I'd love one of these, but my left Technics 1210 just broke after 21 years. Got to get that fixed first. Oh, it'll work for another 21 years after you get it fixed, James. Um, right, we're going to stop. Uh, oh, you, you forgot to mention the Denon SC6000Ms also, also motorised. You're right, I did. I might actually have to add that to the review as well. I don't know why I forgot them. I've got a pair right in front of me here. Make a little note of that to go and update the review. By the way, if you're wondering about where you can learn a little bit more about this controller, as I was saying, you can head over to Digital DJ Tips. We've got a full written review over there. Uh, we've also got a news piece over there, which will uh, get you up to speed with uh, what this is all about. Uh, and then you can go and watch a scratch demo that Steve has done, as well as our uh, video review, which is live on YouTube at the moment. Just refreshing it to see This how is the Digital is. DJ yeah, Tips review. 1,300 views so far. That's pretty good for us on YouTube. So it looks like it's quite a popular, uh, quite a popular device over there already. The word love is coming up a lot for this controller. Um, so um, I'm just going to uh, just have a quick scan at some of the other questions. A lot of you are asking about whether it works on the M1 MacBook. Probably does, but we haven't tested that yet. Uh, and a lot of you are very, very excited uh, about this. George says, I love the way it slows down just like my controllers do. I know it's very, very satisfying. So you adjust this control here, which is the stop time. So the stop time's there. It's going to stop. Uh, I need to get back to the beginning of the track in order to show you this. Uh, the stop time's there. 
I've got slip mode on. Right. So let's get that working again. So if I now press stop, it stops immediately, right? But if I turn the stop time off a bit, for those of you that missed that earlier, it's just like using a record deck. It is indeed. Good words. You chose your words there where, well then. Very satisfying. Uh, well, we've got to the point now in the comments where I can see over on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch, you're all talking to each other, which is great, but that means I'm gonna get out of there and let you chat about this on your own because now we've gotta move on to the second part of our live show today, which is the results of the Digital DJ Tips Census. Let's get a feeling of gravity here by jumping back to the main camera. So the Digital DJ Tips Census is part of the prize draw that we do, uh, it's the prize draw Sorry, the prize draw is part of the Digital DJ Tips Global DJ Census that we do every year. The Global DJ Census is your chance to have your say and tell the industry what you think about their gear, what you think about the current music scene, about the gig scene, and about everything else to do with your DJing hobby or career. This year, it's been so strange because of COVID and the changes in the industry, the lack of gigs for people who rely on this for a living, the uh, rise of live streaming and the rise of hobby DJing in lockdown is all stuff that we really wanted to test the water with and find out how it was changing DJing out there. So the Global DJ Census was launched as always at the beginning of December with the full support of the DJ industry. And I'm gonna thank everyone who took part in supporting that in a minute. And the way the DJ industry supports the census is by donating prizes. And the prizes incentivize people, incentivize people to complete the census. Now I know a lot of you have done it and a lot of you are dying to hear who has won the big prizes. So I will be reading the winners out in a second. Uh, and uh, the results are now in, it's closed. We'll be publishing the results within the next few weeks once we've collated them and shared them with the industry. But for now, I wanna read out, here it is. I haven't even had time to brand the paper because they literally came off our teleprinter uh, a few seconds ago. No, it's not a teleprinter, it's just a printer. Uh, a few seconds ago, my team are working now, talking very uh, hard to everyone who's won and confirming their addresses and so on. Uh, but I have got um, the main prize winners here. Now, the main prize winning post on Digital DJ Tips will announce all the winners of the prizes. Uh, but what I have here is the winners of the main prizes. So I'm gonna read these out in reverse order. I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they've given me 10. I can give you the top 10 winners. Before I do, I just wanna thank Pioneer DJ, Denon DJ, Roland, Allen and Heath, Serato, Virtual DJ, Reloop, Tractor, III, uh, Evermix, Mixed in Key, uh, IK Multimedia, Hercules, Beatport, Beatsource, Newmark, DJ City, UDG, Glorious, and Algorithm. A who's who of the DJ world. You guys are the best. You guys have all contributed prizes to this, and I thank you very much from all of us here at Digital DJ Tips and on behalf of our community. We couldn't do it without you, so formally, thank you very much for supporting this. Right, if I had a drum roll, you know, I have got some sound effects. Shall we see if we can find a sound effect which will, uh, which will uh, allow us to introduce this? I've never done this before, but I think we need a sound effect, don't you? Uh, let's see what we've got here uh, as a sound effect that we can use. That said, I can't get the window to open, so I think it might be a, uh, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? A short-lived idea trying to do this. It's what happens when you, uh, it's what happens when you uh, try and do things on the fly that you haven't practiced. Oh, we have, we've got a DJ air horn. I can't hear that though, can you? Oh, let's unmute it. There we go. Yes! Oh, I love that. <laughs> this is announcing the... No, I think I prefer the air horn to the, uh, to the party, party uh, popper thingy. Do you? Uh, right, okay. Um, uh, as you can tell, that was pretty unrehearsed, which is why it was pretty crap. Right, let's read out the winners then with no further ado. Uh, and no more sound effects, I promise you. So starting at number 10, the winner of our 10th prize was, the 10th prize was a Hercules DJ Control Impulse 500 two-deck Serato DJ controller, plus a pair of Hercules HDP DJ60 headphones. And that went to Luke Hughes in New Zealand. Uh, so Luke, well done. Uh, the ninth prize, a Tractor Control S2 Mark II, uh, sorry, Mark III two-channel DJ controller. That went to Amy Kaufman in the US. Well done, Amy. Our eighth prize, a Tractor Control S4 Mark III four-channel controller. I've got one right here that I was showing you a second ago. Uh, the winner of a Tractor Control S4 Mark III is... Robert uh, Simonek in Poland. Robert, well done. 
The seventh prize, the Reloop Elite two channel DVS mixer. Uh, thank you very much Reloop for this. It goes to David Librero from Spain, just over the border from Gibraltar here. Well done, David. The Pioneer DJ DDJRR standalone DJ system. Uh, this is um, this is incorrect here because it now tells me it's a wired model and that means a pair of headphones. I think there might be some headphones with this as well. I just need to confirm whether these winners are correct. So these winners are uh, uh, just going to have to be confirmed by the team. But I think they've got the, they've got the DJ DDJRR right here. Uh, we'll be emailing you anyway to confirm this. Anyway, it's from uh, it's to Andreas. Uh, Gvozdas in Lithuania, Mark Broman in Portugal, and Istvan uh, Kovacs in Hungary. Well done you uh, people for winning the Pioneer DJ DDJ RR. Uh, I think you get a pair of headphones as well. As I say, we'll confirm that in the email to you. Everyone will be emailed by the way, not only the people I'm reading out now, but the people who've won all the smaller prizes as well. Right, we're into the top five prizes. They're gonna get serious now. Prize number five is a Denon DJ Prime 2 standalone DJ system. An absolutely awesome prize. And this goes to Sherwin in the US. Sherwin Bajeo in the US. Sherwin, you are a big fan of Digital DJ Tips, a big member in our community. Uh, it's gone to a great person. Well done uh, for winning that. Uh, the pair of Rain 12 Mark II motorized MIDI controllers. This goes to Ferdinand van Wijnen in the Netherlands. Another name I know well. It's good to see so many of our committed community members winning this. These have been drawn honestly completely at random via our random number, ge number generator and our spreadsheet. So it's lovely to see names that I recognize on this list. So well done Ferdinand for winning a pair of Rain 12 Mark IIs. We're into the top three prizes. Uh, and the top three prizes are as follows. Prize number three, an Allen & Heath Zone 96 professional DJ mixer. An amazing mixer, only launched in the last year or two, plus an Allen & Heath Zone K2 controller. And this goes to Russell Towell in Australia. Russell, well done. You are the proud owner of a to die for Allen & Heath DJ mixer and controller setup. Well done to you, Russell. So we're now up to the Top two prizes. Who has won the grand first prize of a CDJ3000 and DJM900 Nexus 2 system and the second prize of Roland DJ707M Serato DJ controllers? Well, there are five winners of Roland DJ707M controllers and they are Bojan Mandic in Slovenia, Michael Smits in the Netherlands, another name I recognize, well done, Michael. Uh, Christian Bieck in Germany, Marcus Stockmeyer in Austria, and Samuel Fonte in Italy. Well done for winning those DJ 707Ms. And it is a wonderful DJ controller, that one. One of my favorites. You've got a great DJ system there. So folks, we're here at the Grand First Prize. I'm actually gonna go across to the comment cam for this because I noticed I had an applause sound effect here uh, for the winner, which I'm going to play because I'm cheesy like that. Okay, this is it the grand first prize, the winner of two CDJ3000s from Pioneer DJ and one DJM900 Nexus 2 mixer from Pioneer DJ. An amazing first prize worth over $6,000 and the top prize in our grand draw as part of the census this year, thank you very much Pioneer for the prize, is Michele Cataldo from Italy. Good on you, Michele. So, well, that's the big prizes read out. If you weren't in there, you never know, you might have won something smaller. We'll be emailing you imminently with that information, but well done everyone for taking part in the draw and for more importantly, for filling in the census. Your words, even if you didn't win anything, help the industry to calibrate itself and to bring you products and services that you want. And if you don't believe that, I've been talked to so many times by people when I take our um, team to, to trade shows and so on, people who make gear saying we looked at your census and we've made this gear in response to what people said they wanted. So the biggest thing here, quite apart from all the prizes, is you're helping the DJ industry to develop and to deliver products that can help you with your hobbies and that is really what this is all about. Right, people, did you feel, did you feel the tension there? I really wanted to make sure we did a good job of that and got that all out properly. <sighs> I'm gonna take a deep breath now because we're not done today. It really is a long show today because I've got a massive offer for you guys and girls now as well to end off uh, with. Uh, so this is almost like a prize for you if you didn't win a prize. 
so what is, by the way, thank you everyone for saying uh, how, congratulations to the winners. You're all, uh, you're all very gracious. There's literally, I couldn't, I couldn't put them all up. Uh, there's literally so many people saying congratulations. They're scrolling past too quickly for me to click them onto the screen. Uh, you're a lovely bunch. Uh, we're all winners, says Stephen. I think we're gonna leave, uh, leave the competition uh, or the prize draw on that sentiment. Right, so now I wanna move on and talk about Digital DJ Lab for the last five minutes here. Digital DJ Lab is our membership program and our coaching group for people who have taken our courses and who want to continue learning about DJing. Digital DJ Lab is an amazing resource if you just want to stay on top of what's going on in DJing because DJ is always moving on, right? And Lab is designed to keep you in the game. It is a membership, a monthly membership subscription that gets you access to over 80 full mixed deconstructions, uh, over 40 action plans, which are like mini courses that teach you all kinds of deep dive stuff in DJing and access to our insider webinars and coaching sessions. This is 100% cutting edge material and you don't find this in any of our courses, which makes it a great complement to our DJ courses. Digital DJ Lab has got thousands of members who are learning all the stuff you're seeing on the screen now. It's got various levels of membership to suit your pocket and to suit how seriously you take your hobby. And it is something that I, I thoroughly recommend every one of you tries out. Now look, here's the deal. We've got you a one month trial for just one dollar. So you can try everything Digital DJ Lab has to offer now, starting today, for just a single dollar. So what have you got to lose? There's nearly $4,000 worth of training inside Digital DJ Lab. Give it a try and see whether it's for you. Make a note in your calendar to cancel it if you don't want it, if it's not for you, and we won't charge you an extra penny. Uh, it's just a dollar to give this a go. Now, to do it, just head over to that URL, djtips.co slash trylab djtips.co slash trylab. That will take you to the page I just showed you where you can click on this button here to start your one month free trial. That will take you to a sales page here where you fill in your details uh, and we will charge you just a single dollar and you'll get full access to the Digital DJ Lab program and you've got a month to try it out. Whoops. If you're on lockdown, hey, what else are you gonna be doing, right? Uh, we thought we'd rush this out now because there's a new lockdown in the UK and across much of Europe, and I'm sure it's coming in other places as well. So we are, we're done here. Wow, what a big show we had today. Thank you very much once more to all the brands that took part in this. Thank you very much to all of you for being with us today and for taking part in the census and for entering the prize draw. And thanks for all your questions. Remember on Thursday, it's any questions. So if you've got questions about uh, stuff that isn't what we talked about today, which was the Rain One controller, then uh, we'll be answering those for you on Thursday. Remember, straight after here, head over to Digital DJ Tips where you can read all about the Rain One, you can see our written review of it, and you can get access to our demo and also our review video on the Rain One controller. Lots of stuff there for you to get stuck into, get excited about uh, after this live. Uh, any questions you continue to ask or that I haven't been able to answer today, my team will get to, but come and join me uh, an hour literally, well, 45 minutes earlier than what time your watch says now, on Thursday, where we have our Any Questions Thursday Q&A, where we'll just talk DJing for an hour and you can ask any questions you want. Uh, I am out of here now, folks, so all that's left for me to say is go there uh, and try Lab for a dollar, uh, but as always, get good, get out there, make the moments. And if you can't get out there, stay safe uh, and uh, try and make the best of these strange times. Uh, I will see you on Thursday. Until